Doctora Ramos aquí, dándole las gracias, estando aquí y celebrando que estamos pudiendo traer la vacuna a nuestra comunidad, a la comunidad latina, a la comunidad afroamericana, que estamos más impactados por las consecuencias del COVID-19. Hemos visto que el doctor Gally se ha inyectado con la nueva vacuna de Johnson y Johnson. Es una vacuna que es segura, que es eficaz y no más requiere una vacuna. Y sabemos que esta vacuna trabaja contra las consecuencias más serias que nos está afectando a nuestra comunidad, que es la hospitalización y también la muerte. Invitamos a todos que se vacunen, que esperamos, como ha dicho el presidente, estamos tratando de trabajar en el estado que para uh, fin de mayo, para el verano, ya estemos todos vacunados. Con eso que podemos regresar a la normalidad. Por favor, les invitamos que se vacunen y el doctor Gali nos va a dirigir con, con más uh, respuestas a las preguntas que tengan. Gracias. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Michael Lawson. I'm the President and CEO of the Los Angeles Urban League, and we are proud to be here uh, to help get these vaccinations out. Uh, I want to thank Johnson and Johnson. I want to thank all of the elected officials who have helped us put this together. Uh, we will be here until everybody in our community is vaccinated. This is critical that we do this in order to protect not just our, our elder population, which I am one, uh, but our children as well. So uh, I commend all of the people that are out here, all the volunteers. Uh, thank you for the press for coming out and getting the word out. Uh, this is not the Urban League's first time doing this. This is our centennial year. We have been in Los Angeles since 1921 when we had another pandemic. And we will be here through this pandemic to protect our community. And I want to thank everybody for being here. Being here. Thank you. Before you leave the mic, can you answer a question if that's okay? Sure. Talk to the people that are on the fence, especially for those that are in the community that you serve in. Well, how important is this to actually have this vaccine or any vaccine? Talk to them about the seriousness of having, uh, getting vaccinated. Thank you for that question. Thank you for that question. There's been a lot of conversation and talk about the dangers of using this vaccine, the dangers of taking this vaccine, the dangers of, of allowing someone that you don't know to stick, someone, to stick something in your arm. I am here to tell you that this is not something to be afraid of. The doctors and the scientists who have put this together have done this because we are losing people at a faster rate than anyone else in this country. This is happening because of a lot of different factors, but this, this vaccination is not the cause of this. This vaccination is the cure. We need to do whatever is possible to make sure that our elders are safe, to make sure that our children are safe. And the only way to do that is to take advantage of this vaccine Today, it is being offered for free. It is being, I cannot tell you how important it is. Of the 500,000 plus people who have died, we are in the largest percentage of the people who are suffering from this disease. And the failure to take advantage of this vaccination is not just your choice. You are making that choice for others around you. So I, I, I beg anyone who is out there who has not been vaccinated to come down here and get your vaccination. Because you're doing it not just for yourself, you're doing it for everyone in our community. We need this, we need this protection. We need this in order for us to go forward. There are a lot of issues that we have to deal with and Urban League is involved in all of them. This is one where we have a solution to a problem and we need to take advantage of it. Can you briefly address what Urban League and other community organizations are doing to actively outreach, if anything, and just counter that distrust that they need to We are doing everything that we can to counter that distrust. There's no question about it. But understand that, that with social media, 
with that gives a loud voice to, to, to voices that shouldn't be spread as, as far as they are, it's difficult to, to counter that. And let's be very clear, the voices are out there because we have been lied to before. And so I understand the concern, I understand the skepticism. But we have done the research, we have done the analysis, we have talked to everyone, and we are convinced, we are satisfied, we are absolutely uh, in the position where this has got to happen. We have to do this. There is no alternative. And in order for us to get back into where we should be as a community, and to, and quite frankly, we're not trying to get back to where we should be, we're trying to get through a better place. This is one step toward that. Yes, the, we have been lied to in the past. This is not one of those circumstances. Um, and is, is that for, do you say this for all of the vaccines? That have, I understand, you know, there has been, taking a look at the news about this I trust the science. I trust the scientists. I trust the doctors many of whom are African-American and people of color, who are comfortable with any and all of the vaccines. You look at the percentages, and some percentages are higher than others, but you don't see any that are less than 50%. Any vaccine is going to be better than no vaccine. And, and so, you know, we, we, let's not get tied up in the numbers. This is a good thing. This is a very good thing. And so, uh, in order, we do this for, for our children, we do this for our elders, we do this for the next generation. So I, I, I beg and plead everybody to take advantage of this, to listen to the science, and move forward. Thank you.